going to, um, let's see, January is, is full. Let me skip to February. The first open day, these are all Wednesdays and Thursdays, is February 3rd or 4th. Just kind of wave me down if it's a bad day. Say, nah, steer away. February 3rd or 4th, February 10th or 11th, February 17th or 18th, and February 24th or 25th. Any bad days? Wednesdays. Wednesday's bad. So Thursday, okay. If, okay for Thursday? It'll work? We're probably not going to get everybody. Let me tell you this. On your main sheet there, if somebody you know needs to learn this, didn't get it, you'll see there, uh, hmachaplains.com. You go there, this camera is for doing videos, so you can see that on that website. So somebody missed it ago or had to leave early, had to come late, I can go pick up on that. They were the handouts, what you got today, printable from there, and the DVD video is on there, and this advanced training that I'm talking about is on there. So may not get everybody, but I'm going to try to get most people on this. So let's look for Thursday, back to Thursdays. We are at the 4th, the, I missed one, the 4th, and the 11th, and the 18th, and the one after that would be the 25th. Anybody say, pick one? Not the 25th. 11th, good for me. 11th, bad. 11th, good. 11th, good. Any bad days? Not the 25th. Is Not the 25th. Not the 25th. How, how bad is it to do it on the afternoon as opposed to the morning? I don't care. What other places, what I've done is 10 to 2 and had lunch in the middle. But you'd say yeah, that's not bad. 12 to 4? That's my preference. Anybody have the preference? 12 to 4 is better? I would prefer that, but I'm flexible. I tend to 2. Anybody okay with 12 to 4? Yes. Mm -hmm. Lunch first, and then go to 4? Right, sure. Okay. Larry, uh, if, there were some, if there were some guys or, or pastors that were not here today, right. But are interested in come. doing this? Yep. Can they go ahead and say, "Come to this advanced training"? Right. Yeah. Watch, watch the video online if they want to. Just get up on it. Okay. And come to the advance. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, whoops. The first one was uh, Thursday, February fourth. Is that good? Twelve. Okay. Eleven. Uh, going, going, gone. That's fine. That's good. All right. We have an eleven. Wow. Put down here. Now, can we get the room then? If somebody wants to make a phone call. Make a phone call. <laughs> Let's see if we can get the room. You're looking at February 11, 12, 4. Yes, sir. Yeah, I was going to say, we, we can find it if it's not this room. If it's not here, we can find a location. Okay. We'll see if we can. And that way, and we will send you, you've signed up. Has everybody signed up that list over there? If you haven't, sign there, please. Your email is preferable. Address, physical address, if not. And uh, everybody get a uh, certificate. Okay. Put, sign your name on there. Some of you people get uh, CEUs or advanced training that need to turn into your denomination. Um, Excuse me, what is that email address again? Oh, from hmachaplains.com. That's on the front page of your handout. Oh, thank you. My email is on there too. My cell phone's on there too. Um, So you've signed in. Uh, course evaluations on the last sheet there. If you all would take the time and help me learn to make this better for others, uh, give me some input on that, please. How I can grow. And we're going to check on that time, see if this plays. But we know we've got the date. We've got 12 to 4. We'll have noon. We'll send you an email about the place of time. And 
for sure. On just a quick, and this may be ridiculous to take the time, but it says on this application form availability, and it's got all these times to check. Yeah. If you check all those times, does that mean they're going to call you all those no. times? No. Okay. It just means you're available then. Okay. And then as we get, let's say we get a, a group of 12 or a group of 15, then, set up, then, then it's say, well, how about this your day? Okay. But it'll help us know if you say Thursday's out of the question, you know, something like that. Um, yes. Room's good. So we'll meet at this room on the 11th, right? February 11th, 12 to 4, and we will send you an email as a reminder. We want to send that out again if we can to um, all the churches, reminder, and employees, volunteers of your hospital. So if they don't meet the first part, we're not canceling them out. We're just saying get that by way of uh, the videos on the internet so that they can kind of catch up. Then what I want to do in that day is also somebody who knows the hospital better than me take you for a tour. Somebody, uh, you'll, you'll do your orientation class at some other time. We want to email you about when that is. Um, then um, those who are have visited some and feel as they are seasoned, I'm not looking for expert, but feel as they are seasoned in visiting patients, send you in groups of two where well, you watch them, the seasoned one, and then they, the seasoned one, watch you and just do it together and learn together. Then sit in the cafeteria and talk it over. What did you learn from this visit? What did you learn from that visit? So you kind of feel like, am I really ready? And others of you are like, I'm fine. I've been doing this, you know, comfortable. But some will go, I would just like to shadow someone to kind of see how they do it. And then you kind of go, and then you may shadow two or three or four people. And so I'm not looking for those who are going, I've been doing this for 30 years and I'm a professional hospital chaplain, but just someone to partner up with and learn, okay? I think that would be a good experience. Can happen that day or can happen any day, okay? So those are some of the things we will do on February 11th to uh, kind of get you more acclimated in that. I would like to pray a prayer blessing upon you. Since prayer works, let's use it. <laughs> Lord, thank you for helping us this day to learn, to grow. I even know that you brought these people here with us today to help us to be ready to meet these patients' needs. These are your children who are sick and your heart is breaking. And I know you want us to come and just be there and share the love of Jesus with them. We thank you, Father, for what you're going to do in our lives as we grow and in their lives as we spend time with them. We do pray for our hospital administrators, for the doctors, for the nurses, for everyone that touches a patient, for all those that minister as local ministers, a volunteer chaplain, nurses, and all other staff that touches them in a spiritual way. I pray that you will encourage us that we are useful to you and useful to this hospital. Thank you for this day. We pray about even the February 11th date of more learning then. In your name we give you glory. Amen.